Air Force has released plans to operate on a tighter budget. Its adjustments include the retirement of Davis Monthan's main aircraft. DM would lose 55 A-10s in 2015 and 16, and the rest would be phased out by 2019. Not on your side, Justin Shecker is live in the newsroom with the latest on efforts to save the A-10s. Guys, Stella, this map outlines the Air Force plans to adjust nationwide and to retire the A-10s in stages before 2019. Still, Congressman Ron Barber and Pima County officials are vowing to continue their fight to keep the warthogs flying. According to the Pentagon's plans, by 2019, you'll no longer hear the sounds of the A-10s flying across Tucson skies. Congressman Ron Barber calls the proposal foolish and irresponsible. We spent $1.1 billion keeping this aircraft flying for another 15 to 20 years. At the end of last year, Congress delayed the divestment of the A-10s. Barber says the fighter planes remain vital to our national security, and he hopes his colleagues on Capitol Hill will pass similar legislation this year. To divest ourselves of the best close air support fighter we have is a big mistake. The Pima County supervisors agree. Today they passed a resolution voicing their support for saving the A-10s. The A-10 is not replaceable at this time. But if efforts to keep the Warthogs flying fail, County officials say they'd welcome other missions at Davis Monthan. It's a very viable base. Our conditions are perfect. Our uh, history here has been of support from the community. A House Armed Services Committee hearing on the defense budget is set for Friday morning. Congressman Barber will have the chance to question both the Secretary and Chief of Staff of the Air Force about the future of the A-10s. Live in the newsroom, I'm Justin Shecker, KGUN 9 on your side. Justin, thank you. The